Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Sea Day at Holland America, specifically what to do on Holland America cruise ships. Answer the question of is Holland America a boring cruise line and give you a rundown of the best activities to do on the Holland America cruise ship as well as the daily activities to skip because they're not the best. And then at the end of this video, I'll have footage of actual onboard activities on a Holland America cruise ship. Okay, so first off, this is the daily guide or the daily program for Holland America. Today is a CD, C day. Um, I'm on my Holland America balcony. I'm gonna walk through exactly what's going on on board so you get an idea of what there is to do for entertainment on a Holland America cruise ship. Okay, so the highlights according to Holland America are a 8 a.m. Tai Chi class, which is actually a pretty good thing to do if you're awake at 8 a.m. on a cruise vacation, not me personally. Um, they have a painting class, which is a highlight at 10 a.m., but that's $25. So my mom's actually done this painting class. It is kind of cool, but you do have to pay for it. They have jackpot bingo at 10.30 and 2.30 a.m., which is kind of fun, um, but not really, to be honest. My mom and I have done it before. It's all on a computer nowadays, so you don't get to stamp your cards and you have to pay for that. And then they have a future cruises, where will your cruise, where will you cruise next, which is kind of a, a sales pitch, not really worth it in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk through every single activity on a Holland America cruise ship starting from 8 a.m. until 10.30 p.m. so you get a full idea of what there is to do. Um, in summary though, like honestly, is, is Holland America a boring cruise line? In my opinion, it kind of is. I'm not their target market. Most of the people on Holland America cruise ships are in their 70s or 80s. Not an exaggerating, I think I'm the only person on this cruise ship under the age of 40. So it's great for relaxing. Um, it's great for just walking around the Lido deck. It's great for sitting on a bench and reading. It's great for going out to lunch, playing cards, having a drink. Um, it's very, very relaxing. There's no kids running around screaming and teenagers. It's a very relaxing cruise line and my mom and I really love it. But I will say when it comes to activities, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, basically, you kind of got to create your own fun. So my mom and I usually go out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We dance at night. And then during the day, we walk around the deck. We go to their afternoon tea, which is usually a really good activity. And then we play cards and just relax. Um, so not a whole lot to do on a Holland America cruise during the day, especially during the sea day. You lay by the pool, you go to the spa, you go to the gym, um, that's about it. But here's a rundown of every activity. All right, so at 8 a.m. there's Tai Chi for everyone by the pool. Also at 8 a.m. they have mass if you care to go to that. Um, 9 a.m. is a slot tournament in the casino. And then 9.30 a.m. if you want to pay for a indoor cycling class in the fitness center, that's $20. Um, what's next? 10 a.m. is their painting class, which is $25. And then at 10 a.m. on a sea day on to Holland America, there is bridge play until 12 p.m. Um, then next are some promotion activities. It's nice that Holland America now um, highlights those activities in light gray so you're aware. I'll say any of the promotion activities on a Holland America Sea Day are, um, they're, they're promotion activities. They're kind of sales pitches that are usually cheesy and not worth your time in my opinion. But anyway, at 10 a.m. there's a pain management with acupuncture clinic in the greenhouse spa. There's a shop $10 fashion accessories. And then there's a 1030 talk with their onboard doctor 
who talks about a 10 minute faceless lift, which I'm assuming is a sales pitch for Botox. Then at 10.30 a.m. is Lightning Trivia, and at 11 a.m. you can pay for a class on margaritas and mojitos. At 11 a.m. is another promotion activity on increasing your metabolism in the fitness center. And then 11 a.m. is another promotion activity to design your own coffee mugs. And then at 10.30 a.m. is Jack Hawk Bingo, where you can buy tickets. So um, that's kind of a rundown of what to do on a sea day on Holland America cruise ships. As you can see, at least in my opinion, there's not a lot to do in the morning. It's all promotion activities from their spa. Um, you can pay to play like bingo or a jackpot, or you can pay for a gym class or go to church. Um, so in the morning on a Holland America cruise ship at sea, there's not a lot to do. What I personally do with my mom is we always just um, walk the deck, have lunch or have breakfast, get there early before they run out of the really good mixed berries. And then we go up to the Explorations Cafe, get a coffee there and sit and just enjoy the view. Um, we create our own fun on a Holland America cruise ship sea day because in the morning there's really really not much to do at all all right let's move into the early afternoon activities on the holland america cruise ship so at 12 p.m there are two promotion activities one is the ladies pamper party and one is the shopping show um, in my opinion both of these activities are not worth your time we had gone to the ladies pamper party they usually talk for about 20 minutes in the beginning and then they put give you like a little bit of face cream to put on your face it's not worth your time um, second is the shopping show, also really, really cheesy in my opinion. Usually they're promoting um, kind of expensive, cheap looking jewelry in my opinion, and those like tacky colored shirts and the bamboo sheets sets that are at every single cruise sport. So um, not worth going to those two activities. I'm actually really glad that Holland America calls these promotion activities because they're, um, they're promotion activities. Then at 1 p.m. is a beer tasting, which is $15 if you want to pay for it. And then there's another set of bridge play from 1 to 3 p.m. At 1.30 are two more promotional activities. One is the healing benefits of acu acupuncture, and one is the Effie shopping spree. Um, so two more promotional, promotional activities from the spa and the shops. Um, not worth your time to go to those on a Holland America cruise ship sea day, in my opinion. Um, at two o'clock, there is a permission to dance class to learn the latest line dance moves. Um, I personally like to dance, so my mom and I sometimes go to that class. It's usually kind of fun and silly. It's run by one of their onboard um, recreational staff, I suppose. Usually it's kind of fun and it's not a sales pitch, so that's kind of fun. Um, 2 p.m. is a military meetup, which is worth going to, I think, if you were in the military. They also have a ping pong tournament, which is actually usually pretty well attended and worthwhile going to, as well as the James Suckling Pacific Northwest Wine Tasting in the dining room for $25. Um, I will say if you enjoy wine, I think that the $25 wine tasting is worth it. My mom and I have gone to that before. It's not a sales pitch at all. You usually sit at a table with like two to four other people and they give you wine with snacks or hors d'oeuvre pairings and then they talk about the wine. So for $25, it's a pretty good deal. You actually get a fair amount of wine um, and it's run by the, 
I don't know what it's called. The main guy that sells all the wine on the ships who's really knowledgeable. Um, so that's actually one of the best things to do on the Holland America Sea Day, in my opinion, if you're willing to spend $25, is to go to their wine tasting. At 2.30 is the art of flower arranging, and at 3 p.m. is afternoon tea. Okay, these are two more activities on the Holland America Sea Day that I actually think are worth going to. So the art of flower arranging is usually run by the main man, it's usually a man, that does all of the flower decorations on Holland America cruise ships. Um, he's actually usually, we went to it before, really nice, will talk to you about what he does, has really good unique ideas, and sometimes they give out free flowers. So that's a great activity to go to on the Holland America Sea Day. And at 3 p.m. is afternoon tea. Um, I would definitely recommend going to this on any Holland America ship. Um, it used to be a lot fancier than it is now, but they still give you tea and a big um, like tray of little cookies and cakes and desserts. It's actually a really nice activity in the dining room to go to afternoon tea at three. It's my mom's personal favorite thing to do on Holland America cruise ships. At 3 p.m. is where will you cruise next on the world stage. So kind of talking about the next cruise for you to book. And then another jackpot bingo at 3.30. And at 3.30 p.m. is the Friends of Bill W. Meet. Um, so every Holland America cruise line, they usually have a Friends of Bill W. Meetup at least always the first day and I think throughout the cruise. So um, if you have been part of that group, I think that's worth going to. At 3.30 is the shuffleboard challenge and at 4 p.m. is another lotto jackpot drawing. Um, the shuffleboard challenge, we've gone to that before. It's usually not super well attended in my experience. Um, I would personally prefer to skip the shuffleboard challenge and just play it with your friends at any other time on a Holland America cruise ship. Um, it's usually all of this recreational sports activities on Holland America cruise ships, except for pickleball, um, are not very well attended because most of the people on the cruise ship are over 70 and not super into sports. Um, at 4 p.m. is another promotion from the spa on Tighten Your Skin with Thermage. And at 4 p.m. is Team Trivia Challenge on Billboard On Board. Okay, I will say that most of the Team Trivia Challenges and game nights that happen in Billboard On Board are well attended. Um, they're run by one of the staff with Holland America, who's their entertainer, kind of. Um, usually those are pretty good things to go to if you enjoy games. People seem to really, really enjoy the game night and the trivia things that are happening on Holland America on basically any day. These aren't just on sea days. Okay, next at 4.30 is another seminar on diamond and gemstones, so another promotion. 5 p.m. is another promotion from the jewelry shop and another promotion on what comes around, what goes around comes around showcase from the shops. So um, basically, I personally think all of the shows from the shops are really, really tacky on Holland America cruise ships and not worth going to. And the, um, uh, shops and the jewelry stuff are just cheesy. Now I will say people do seem to like them. I just think they're really, really cheesy. So that's me. Um, next at 5 p.m. are Dressy Night Portrait Studios. You can get your photo taken. Again, to buy the photos, you'll have to pay money. It's pretty expensive. And then at 5 p.m. you can pay $20 for a yoga class. And then at 5 p.m. you can pay $50 for a whiskey taking tasting. Um, 6.30 is music trivia and 7 p.m. is another promotion from the shops on Tanzanite. Okay, um, I have skipped 
not to it yet. Um, at 2 p.m., they didn't have this in the list of things to do, so their onboard guide is not as clear as it could be. Um, but at 2 p.m. was a talk about Caribbean rum, which is usually done by sometimes the cruise director, sometimes somebody else. And then at 11 a.m. there was an executive talk called Life Below the Water's Edge. Um, the executive talks are usually pretty well run. They have nice slideshows and a script that they read. Um, I personally find them to be kind of boring and they put me to sleep. You're in a big auditorium. It's a good nap time for me, um, but a lot of people do seem to like the executive talks on Holland America. Um, I also didn't see any cooking shows, which is a surprise to me. Most of the Holland America ships, especially on Sea Day, have a cooking show, um, which if they do have it when you're on a Holland America ship, I do actually find their cooking shows to be very well done. They usually have like the main chef um, talking a little bit and he's usually kind of funny. And then either the cruise director or a professional like cooking lady, I don't know what her title would be talking. So if they have that, go to that. Um, I also skipped the dinner time. So of course on Holland America, you're gonna to go to dinner. I recommend getting a designated table with a set time. That way you have the same waiter every night and he gets to know you and it's much just nicer. Um, the two different seating times I think are like 5.15 p.m. and 8.15 p.m. or something like that. Okay, continuing on what to do on a Holland America cruise ship when it comes to onboard activities. At 7 p.m. there's a ballroom dance hour. 8 p.m. is a Pictionary Challenge. 8 p.m. is also Scratch Cards in the Casino. 8.15 is an NFL game at the pool. And at 10.30 is Hot Pot Table Match in the Casino. Um, I will say the New Holland America ships, so like the Pinnacle class ships, have a huge, huge TV by the Lido pool. And they usually show NFL games on the big screen and movies as well. I will say, um, if you like watching football or movies, sitting by the Lido pool and watching TV on the big screen is amazing. It's really, really nice. So um, I would definitely recommend doing that on a sea day on the Holland America cruise ship or any day that they have football on the big screen. It is kind of fun. Um, okay, now to the best thing about Holland America cruise ships, in my opinion, is their entertainment at night. So that's on like a separate part of your daily guide, but they have Lincoln Center Stage, which is really well done music, um, like orchestra music. They have music by Schumann today and The French Connection. Um, I personally don't go to these shows, but I will say that the musicians are really, really good. It's good quality. It's like a private concert. Um, so it's definitely worth going to on Holland America cruise ships if you enjoy that kind of music. Um, at 7.30, and 10.30, they have Billboard on board. So that's a dueling piano bar um, on Holland America cruise ships. If you like dueling piano bars, it's fun. I personally don't love billboard on board, which is funny because I love dueling piano bars, but there's two other entertainment options that I do love and highly recommend. One is the BB King's Blues Club and one is the Rolling Stone Rock Room. Both are located on deck two of the newer Pinnacle class Holland America cruise ships. If you're on one of their older cruise ships, they'll only have BB King, but um, that's okay because BB King's really good. But anyway, they have shows for BB King at 8.30, 9.30, and 10.30, and then the Rolling Stone Rock Room at 8.15, 9.45, and 11.15 p.m. tonight. So what's great about Holland America nighttime entertainment 
is that you can go see BB King and then when they take like a break, go to the rock and roll band and then back to BB King and back and back and back. So basically you can dance and have live music from 8.15 until like midnight, basically nonstop and you don't have to walk far. They're right next to each other, which is great. That's probably one of my favorite things to do on Holland America cruise ships on any day or sea day is dance at night to their live music. Usually the bands are pretty good. Um, they also have a performance tonight. They have the one, the step one dance company presenting musicology at 7.30 and 9.30. Um, so I will say if you have an early dinner, you can catch the 7.30 show. If you have a late dinner, you'll be catching the 9.30 show, which in my opinion isn't the best because then you're skipping out on BB King and Rocking Rolling Stone Rock Room. Um, hopefully that made sense. I will say their step one dance company, um, how to say this, the performances are pretty good. They're not amazing, they're good. And I will say Holland America does lack in this department because they've had the same shows for the past three years. Like last night they had one of their shows and my mom and I have seen it already two times. So we skipped it last night. So the dancing on Holland America is usually pretty good depending on who's um, their dancers, but they don't switch up their entertainment. I think as much as other cruise lines do but definitely go to the shows. Unlike other cruise ships, you don't have to arrive 20 minutes for a seat. Um, you can show up right on time and always get a seat. There's plenty of seating on Holland America cruise ships, which is great. Okay, that is it. Um, at 10.30, they have snacks up in the Lido for a midnight snack. Usually it's kind of greasy food, but um, that's something. And then also on sea days, you can always just go to their dive-in bar and get burgers and hot dogs or their New York deli and pizza. You can lay by the pool. You can play cards or games up in the Explorations Cafe, go to the gym to work out. And that's about it. So in summary, um, I walked through everything to do on a sea day on the Holland America cruise ship. These activities are pretty representative of what you'll find on any Holland America cruise ship to do. Um, I would say in summary, usually, I don't know, their tea is really good to go to. Some of their talks are well done if you're into that stuff. I love the BB King's Blues Club and the Rolling Stone Rock Room. Everything else in between during the day, I personally don't love that much, um, especially their spa and shop shows are kind of cheesy, but Holland America is very relaxing and great for just sitting on your balcony and enjoying the view. Okay, so then next at the end of this video, what I'm gonna show is just like snippets of onboard activities happening so you can get an idea of what they are. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I cruise a lot with Holland America. Um, my mom's a four-star mariner, so we travel a lot. And um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it helpful. Um, all right, next you'll see some footage of actual Holland America on board entertainment. Voiced both Darth Vader and the Lion King's Mufasa. <laughs> cemetery and go, you lucky sons of bitches. <laughs> Look at them getting to sleep in.
regularly. That makes sense? Yeah. Just getting started. Now, it is going to be a point five. 